Aerospace battle management is the all-encompassing word for everything that the RAF does in the airspace, from maintaining a surveillance picture about where aircraft are, to the weapons direction, making sure that they get to their targets effectively. Number one air control centre is the UK's deployable radar asset. We're also declared to NATO as rapid response. We can deploy anywhere in the world within about 72 hours. In the CRC at RAF Scampton, which is a control and reporting centre, this is where the feeds from the national network of radars all come into this location. And in here, a team of people identify every aircraft in the UK airspace, control the fighters that are operating in the airspace. We're on an E3D, which is an airborne aerospace battle management platform. It's got a big radar bolted to the roof. Controllers will control aircraft using the radar picture. And we'll take the picture that we produce and we'll uh, link that to the ground. And we can see roughly uh, 250 miles with the radar and you know there could be over a thousand aircraft in that area. At RLs we have three missions. First one, primary mission, is ballistic missile early warning. Second mission is space surveillance. And the third mission is satellite warning service. We are looking at low Earth orbit, anything within about a 3,000 mile range from Earth. What we're looking for is abnormalities, so when a satellite's manoeuvring, we have to start asking why is it manoeuvring, why is it changing orbit, what's it going to be looking at next? I wanted to be an air battle manager from uh, the first time I saw details about it in the Armed Forces Careers Office. The amount of versatility, you can be anywhere in the world, you've got the opportunity to go and visit places I never would have done in any other career. It felt that aerospace battle management, the chance to get involved in the, the sharp end of what the RAF does. You're involved in launching quick reaction alert aircraft, you are making tactical decisions. Obviously I wanted to be a pilot and navigator as most people do, but uh, unfortunately my eyesight wasn't good enough. So then I looked around the rest of the branches and uh, chose the aerospace battle management branch. So it looked like an interesting branch with the scope for varied jobs and travel. Being in the RAF has uh, allowed me to uh, develop myself further. I went to university beforehand, however, real life training has started here. I absolutely love being in the Air Force. I've, I've done so much since I've been in. They're paying for me to do a politics degree with the Open University. Passion in life is skydiving. And since I've joined the RAF, I've managed to go on three advanced parachuting courses with work, which is fantastic. For space in particular, one of the, the key things that you have to be good at is making decisions. You've got to be really calm under pressure and you have to respond well to pressure. The busier it gets, the calmer and more efficient you need to be. You've got to be decisive, you can't be looking at an aircraft thinking, oh, not sure, is it right, is it wrong, you need to know straight away. It's a great job, you need to be flexible, you need to work hard, but the rewards are there. It gives you a bit of a buzz because you know you've made that difference. It gets really, really get a sense that what you're doing is important.